Good morning all. Happy Vlogmas. Day five. That's ten. Five. Day five. I'm Holly, or so in Scottish. Um, Monday morning. Vlogmas day five. 5th of December. Hang on, just letting my cat out because we will not know peace while she's still in here. Um, where are we? I'm going to get straight into the advent calendars today because I have really, really got quite a lot to do. Um, I can't sit here waffling all day as much as I might like to. So, Kylie in the machine, let's go first. Uh, day 20. Yes, 20. We're up here. It's an iron. So these are two of the long ones. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, okay, take it back. These are the best ones so far and very, 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 very appropriate. Made with love and coffee. Oh, I mean, because it's made with love, they should be on things for other people, but then I suppose you can make yourself something with love and probably should make yourself something with love. Yeah, maybe I'll keep one for myself and put one on something for someone else, just to... It's a good one though. Um, after yesterday and the slight panic when I could not find it, I put D5 on top. This is the Beyond the Pinkle calendar, did I say that? He's probably on that at this point, eh? Oh, so we're on five. And we've got a wee Christmas pud. Very cute. <coughs> I think I know what this is. Oh. so pretty <laughs> I need to get something to show you the colours of these pins so we've got some pearlised head pins um, they look like this on a lovely pin wheel but the colours are just so nice <laughs> oh so pretty love pins and I need big head pins um, we got some pins in the Fabric Godmother box on day one um, and I have tried to use them already and they're just the kind of old-fashioned metal head pins that aren't the best when you have cats and clumsiness and tend to drop your pins a lot because trying to find them, trying to find one of them in here would be an absolute nightmare and I think I'd just have to move out. Um, so these are much better and much more my cup of tea. Awesome, thank you. Um, fabric Godmother today, day five. We're at the bottom. What's in day five? Polyester thread will melt, so turn the heat down on your iron. paper package. What's in it? Oh. So we've got some labels. A wee pack of labels. Let's see. Let's have a look at these. Two labels. <laughs> and they say made to party. Which if you've been following me for the last five days, you know it's not really me. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been made to party. And it says Fabric Godmother with their logo on the back. Um, really nice labels. I don't know who has made them. But yeah, very nice and thick. Uh, very cute. But yeah, made to party. I'm gonna, these are definitely gonna have to go on something for someone else. Or, they could go on mine, ironically, maybe on some pyjamas or 
something. <laughs> ah, nice deal in the old advent calendars. Um, did I have anything to tell you? No, not really. Um, congratulations England on winning the football. We watched that last night. That was, yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? Um, the second half was all right. <laughs> Pretty good. What else happened last night? Uh, oh, I popped in. <laughs> I watched the Beyond the Pink Door live and um, I never watch it live. I never managed to make it live. So it's always two hours later than everybody else, but that's fine. I have my wee Sunday evening routine that involves that. Um, and the fabric that I was showing yesterday, um, the little remnant piece that I got from Somi Sunshine, I had had a look on the Somi Sunshine website to see if they still had any to put it in the description box and they didn't. They only had like a 60 centimetre remnant piece. But watching Beyond the Pink Door live last night, um, Andrea was talking about this fabric and I could tell from the way that she was describing it. I was like, I think that's the same fabric that I had just shown. Um, and I checked the composition of the fabrics and I'm 99.595% sure that it's the same fabric. So I will um, pop a link to that in the description box here and also in yesterday's video. Um, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I wouldn't recommend making a special effort too honestly it wasn't the most exciting day of my life um and you'd better off <laughs> probably going and watching beyond the pink door life because angie is much better at describing fabric than i am as well so <laughs> um but it's lovely and now that i know that she's got some in stock in a huge variety of colorways i uh, might have to go and order some of the rust colorway because it's really nice <laughs> um plans for today you can guess I'm going to be studying all day and I'm probably not going to pop up, pop back on today um, just because I have so much to do. Um, we also have someone coming to stay with us tonight. Um, Simon's BFF is coming up for the week um, tonight, which would be nice. Um, it's always good to see him and it's always good to have, you know, someone else in the house, <laughs> see a different face. Um, so that'll be nice. And then his wife is joining him on Wednesday. And then Thursday is the Christmas party uh, and the, the outing of the next dress. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Friday, um, I will be back volunteering at my local volunteer gig. So I will take you there as well. So there's things happening in the week. There's things to look forward to, but realistically, um, I need to keep it pretty brief between now and, well, Wednesday, which is when my essay's got to be in by. It was meant to be in by today and I managed to get an extension, but I don't want to have to ask for an extra extension because the longer I take to write this assignment and get it done, um, it's eaten into my sewing time and I do have other things to be getting on with. Like Christmas! <laughs> I have managed to chat Simon into getting a Christmas tree. We weren't sure because we didn't have one last year. Um, but that was just because A, we were moving pretty soon afterwards and like the house was kind of filled with boxes at that point. Not filled, but there were boxes. We were we had started the packing at that at that juncture. Um and I think in December there was maybe a week where we were at home together. Um, between me coming back to visit my mum and things and him visiting his dad. So, so it was just like, well, what's the point in getting a Christmas tree? But I don't want that to be a regular thing. <laughs> I want a Christmas tree. So I think we're going to go at the weekend. Um, there's plenty of places around here, I think, that will do them. So yeah. Then I can start getting festive. I have been looking at the weather forecast and um, Friday was meant to have snow. And I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited for snow because nothing, like, if I'm not feeling festive, all it takes is a little sprinkling of snow, you know, even just for an hour, and it, it changes the whole outlook on things. I just thought, oh, snow would be awesome. Um, and then I checked the forecast again last night and the snow had gone. So that sucks. I really want snow. I love snow. I love crunching in snow. Um, <clears throat> so, yes. There are things happening this week, but I am going to be pretty quiet between now and Wednesday. What I might do, see how it goes. 
um, it's combined Tuesday and Wednesday just because there isn't a lot happening. <laughs> There's only so many times I can come in here when I'm studying and it's miserable. <laughs> so to try and keep that to a limit, um, I will maybe combine Tuesday and Wednesday. We will see. I will tell you what I'm wearing today. So this is a Marlowe cardigan. Let me stand up. Let me move back. <laughs> We've got a Marlowe cardigan and a grey bamboo jersey. I made this. Oh gosh, a long time ago. Um, just after the Marlowe cardigan came out, I think. Um, and it's seen better days. I'm not going to lie. So this is a size 18. And it is the long version. Um, I size down on this. I mean, it does fit, but I just don't like the way it fits. Realistically, I think it... Yeah. But, with that being said... As a practical, just a layering piece that goes over things. I get a lot of wear out of this. You can tell because it's starting to get a bit bubbly. Um, but it's a good make. Today, I'm also wearing the Jennifer Lauren Handmade Kinfolk dress. I've got a dress on, guys. Um, I love this. Um, I tested this pattern way back in May. And... Um, Honestly, it was a bit of a revelatory moment having a bust that fits. <laughs> um, this is a linen fabric, a uh, linen viscose that I got from Pound Fabrics. And I think it was something like crazy, like 250 a metre. That's awesome. I love it in this dress. The fact that it's, it's linen viscose, um, but I think the percentage of linen is a bit higher than the percentage of viscose because it feels... It has just enough drape, but it feels very linen -y when you're wearing it. And I really like this texture. <laughs> Forgive the hair. I'm wearing it. I'm getting away with it because I can't show you. There's no there's no way. <laughs> I'm wearing my snag tights, merino wool in grey. <laughs> um they're awesome. And they're a bit of a game changer for when it comes to to wearing things with dresses in the winter for me. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. Sorry, the superstitions. Um, yeah, woolly tights. Oh, <laughs> if you're of a certain age group, my age group probably, um, <laughs> you probably know what I'm going to say about woolly tights. And it's the, the itching. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it was other people and it wasn't just me that was sitting there frantically wanting to itch your bum cheeks when you were sitting at school in your willy tights <laughs> on these hard chairs and yeah just being like I just want to itch my bum cheek but you can't because you know the only thing worse than having an itchy an itchy bum cheek is your classmates spotting you itching it and then relentlessly bullying you for it for the rest of the term <laughs> um, so yeah thinking about willy tights we're sort of like I'm not going back there not going back there, but um, the snag tights advert actually said these are non itchy, and I was like, Really? Let's try. Because actually, I love snag tights, and I don't think they've let me down yet. They've never they fit, they're long enough, they don't fall down, they don't rip or get ladders, even though I'm a clawed beast. <laughs> My last experience with non snag tights. I sort of got myself in them and went to pull them up and I put my nail through every single bit. So it's like, I have ten little ladders <laughs> and that doesn't happen with snag tights. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to trust them. I'm going to trust them with woolly tights. So no disappointment whatsoever. <laughs> they're a wee bit more expensive um, because they're merino wool. But oh, they're amazing. And just for making that, I mean, this I would say the spring dress, summer dress, I'm wearing it in December and I don't feel like a bit out of place doing so like it feels like it ties in with the outfit. The grey cardigan, grey tights. Um, yeah, it's a really great dress this one, I have to say. And I haven't made another one yet. This is the only one I've made so far. I'll get back so you can see a wee bit more at the top. Um, princess seams at the front, princess seams at the back. It gives you a nice shape and it has this panel here. Excuse my tie. The ties come into 
um, and you can either tie it at the back or at the front like I have. Can I just pat myself on the back for the pattern matching on this actually? Because <laughs> it was my first go and yeah I think it was pretty good considering. Like, um, would, would you know there was princess in there? No? Yeah we would do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for some reason, when I think about making this dress again, my mind still goes to checked fabrics or tartan fabrics or something like that. And I'm just like, no, don't do it to yourself. Do not do that again. <laughs> You've done it once. No. So yeah, I need to go through the stash and maybe dig up something a bit less requiring of matching to make another one of this. Because they're, they're beautiful dresses. What can you say about Jennifer Lauren patterns, really? She does a beautiful dress and it, they fit nice. And oh, the thing I love about this is the pockets. They're massive, absolutely massive pockets that are into the waist seam. So you don't have, there's no flapping, no unnecessary bulk. Everything that's anchored is secured and <laughs> awesome. What more can you ask for? Um, so, yes, that's today's wear. Um, I said to Simon earlier, I feel like an old farm wifey and I think it is just because it's tartan and it's like feels very natural fibres and also the grey baggy tights. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit like old farm hand going out to the field, milk the cows, come back in, chase the husband around with the rolling pin. Kind of vibe, but that's fine because, well, this is Scotland. <laughs> That is the countryside. <laughs> Why not? Um, <clears throat> one last thing before I leave you for today. Like what's it right? <laughs> oh, finally, guys. Finally. I was so patient. <laughs> I know what's in it. There was no way I was going to be able to avoid everybody's unboxing. So I just sort of didn't try. <laughs> um. So I know what's in here um, and I have to say I'm still excited again. <laughs> Could be using my scissors on the label. This label is very secure so it's not going in with my nails. I'm going with my scissors. Oh yes sorry. If you don't want to know what's in this month's Beyond the Pink Door Box Stop watching. Stop watching. Just wait. You'll be here soon. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anybody left at this point who hasn't had theirs. Um, I guess there probably is. So yeah, now it's your now it's your warning to step back if you if you don't want to know what's in it. And congratulations on having avoided it this far. Um yeah, and I don't want to be the one to ruin it for you. Um, so if you have to check out now, thank you for watching and I will See you tomorrow or Wednesday. <laughs> and for those of you who have already had a box or who don't get a box and want to know what's in the box, you can stick around to a bit longer. In this month's box, there is two meters of organic cotton jersey fabric. Nice. I'm going to keep this and have a look. Everything's just so pretty, isn't it? Everything in the box is so pretty. Oh, the labels and the paper. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Oh. <laughs> so, our first gift is a pom-pom. Mine is, it's kind of like an aqua and a lilac. Oh my. Um, so I am going to give this to my mum and I'm going to say, please put it on a hat. Where's my daylight gone? Hang on. The daylight's gone. I'm going to have to come round, you know. <laughs> Excuse the everything behind. It's quite sunny out there, but it's just not coming in. <laughs> it's been that weird kind of weather today where it looks like it's really sunny and then you look a bit closer and you're like oh actually it's raining sun rain it's confusing the cat 
she's not a big fan of sun rain. Um, so yes, yeah, my pom pom is going to my mum and I'm going to ask her to make me a hat with this on it um, and maybe one of the gorgeous labels. Um, I'm sure she will because she loves a quick knitting project, my mum does. So yeah, I love it. Needs to be on top of my head. Um, I've got a trip planned to Holland at the end of, oh, not Holland, the Netherlands, sorry. I'm going on a trip to the Netherlands um, at the end of January and we'll need a woolly hat to keep me warm. Uh, we've got thread, it's this lovely kind of pale blue colour. One and three of the Vitamin chart. Be like a diamond, precious and rare, not like a stone that is found everywhere. That's nice. And that's our fabric. Oh. Take time for yourself. I'm going to do that today. I need a reminder of that today. Thank you. And I am going to save this to do it with. It's my snowball. Um, love a snowball. I haven't had snowballs for ages, actually. These are khaki snowballs, which we don't have here. Uh, I think it's mostly tonics that do snowballs here. Is it? Tonics? The tonic snowball. There was a noise outside, but it's Simon on his crutches. It sounded for a second like it was the cat chomping on bones. She's not been out to catch a mouse already. Surely not. That is our fox card. That's beautiful, isn't it? By Lorraine Fletcher Art Studio. Um, I'll put her information in the description box below if you want to have a wee check out. That is lovely. I really love foxes. I haven't seen a fox since I moved here, which they must be here somewhere. Um, but we used to have one in Switzerland that would pop around our garden. Not like a city fox. He was completely you know, terrified of humans, but he would yeah, pop round, eat the cat biscuits that we'd left out for a registry um, and then steal the cat bowl and run round the house with it and then pee in it <laughs> or poo in it even sometimes. Yeah, foxies, hilarious. <laughs> Very cute. This is our fabric. Wow, Having, I have seen this obviously on unboxings, but I have to say it doesn't really do it justice. <laughs> You don't really get the full Christmassy effect watching it on other people's unboxings, but that's awesome. Look at it. <laughs> Christmas trees! <laughs> and there's two metres of it, my goodness. I love that actually. <laughs> All the trees are, de they're kind of decorated differently and that's beautiful. Really nice. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with it. My lights come back. <laughs> um, no idea. It's going to have to be something Christmassy. And I realistically don't know if I am going to get time to make something for myself between now and Christmas. I hope so. Um, because I don't want to leave it till next Christmas. I'm going to wear it this Christmas. Um, yeah, I mean, you could do just like a Christmas Day t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt. Something maybe like the sew over at Heather dress would be a really good one for this um, that you could wear on Christmas Day or with some merino wool <laughs> grey snow tights <laughs> obviously um, or something like a nighty like a night dress would be really good wouldn't it um, I have a really good night dress that my mum bought me from Max and Spencer's ages ago and it's kind of like below the knee long sleeve, hair a hood um, big pockets something like that would be really comfy and and cozy and a good use of your christmas fabric i think for me i have no idea i have no idea um just by having had time to prepare um yeah maybe the heather dress if i get time because i have made that recently and plan on making another one um with some french terry i don't know I quite like the colour as well. 
so festive awesome I'm going to put this in the wash just so it's ready, just in case I find myself with time um, and patterns. Um, yes, that's me for the day. I'm going to go and work, eat a snowball, get another coffee. Um, yeah, that's me for the day. So I will see you either tomorrow or Wednesday. I hope you all have a good Monday. Um, <laughs> Oh, I really wanted to say thank you to everyone who's watching my Vlogmases. Um, everyone who's left a comment, um, I really appreciate it. And especially everyone who's commented saying, sending their best wishes to Simon. Um, it's really sweet and very thoughtful and it's lovely. So, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, and I will see you soon.